in, in a lot of the companies I worked in, uh, you take somebody from the floor, you need a supervisor in a hurry, you say, well, who should we pick as a supervisor? And all of a sudden, well, George knows this process really well, let's make him the supervisor. Well, George may have been a great machinist, and we've just lost our best machinist. Have we gained a great supervisor? Maybe Sally has more supervisory skills and can actually empathize and coach and do all of these things better. And if he needs, she needs technical help, she can always go to George. So the thing is, but the thing is, what we don't do oftentimes is give our frontline people, our frontline supervisors, that's our front management line. We oftentimes don't give them enough uh, skills, the coaching, the listening, the, all the things that they need. And you know the things that they need for ideas? 90% of it, they need to be a good supervisor. Listening, coaching, what are we talking about? You know, that, that, that interpersonal stuff. Stuff, listen to me talk, I'm talking like an engineer. Um, job description, make it a clear part of their responsibility. Uh, measure their performance in, in ideas. How many ideas are they getting in? How many are they mentoring? What percentage are they, are they converting to implemented? Recognize performance in their performance reviews, merit and promotion. Pretty straightforward stuff. This slips into your normal system, but it has to be there explicitly. It's not a lot of rocket science here. Guerrilla tactic. Here's one of those guerrilla tactics that we use at the end of the book. A simple one, if you don't have anything else in your system that really, that really works, is publicize results. Take the bulletin board, take the different departments, the different supervisors, and just print out their results and put them on the board. Don't say a word. You don't have to. The results speak volumes. And what happens is everyone goes by, reads that, you bet they know. You bet the persons that people that are at the bottom are looking at the people that are at the top. People at the top are saying, I gotta stay ahead. I mean something as simple as that. 